Did you know Google can detect AI generated content which can affect your SEO ranking? Hi, I'm Neely from Wordtune, and today I'm going to show you how to add that personal touch into AI generated content. The benefits of content generation are endless. It's a great tool that you can use for inspiration, saves time, and helps professionals overcome writer's block. But it's not perfect. Most of the time, it lacks authenticity, personality, and emotion. There's nothing unique about it. That's why it's important to add a human touch to your content so that it stays true to your brand, speaks to your audience, and well, sounds like you. That's right, you, the human person, should always stay in the driver's seat when creating content, especially when using AI. Now, there are actually AI detection tools that'll help you figure out just how human-like your content really is. It's helpful to run your content through just to avoid potentially getting penalized for using AI content. Depending on your platform, brand, and audience, this content will need different levels of tweaking and customization. The good news is, humanizing is pretty easy to do. Honestly, the whole process could take you less than five minutes. Let's get that timer on screen just to prove how fast it really is. And go. So I asked ChatGPT to write me a 200 word LinkedIn post on tips on how to be less distracted at work. Let's put this AI detection tool to the test. I'm gonna copy and paste this text from ChatGPT into the tool and see what score I get. Okay, so clearly it works since it recognized that this is 100% AI generated. We'll test this again after we're done humanizing our content. So make sure to stick around to the end to find out the final score. First thing I'll say is treat all generated content as a draft. It's a good starting point, but there's still work to be done. This post was meant for LinkedIn, which is the perfect place to voice your opinion and share personal stories. So I wanna make this intro a lot more personal. Why? First, because it's authentic and relatable. When you share personal experiences, it allows you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. Second, people love stories. Give the people what they want. Add personal anecdotes to make your posts more engaging and memorable. Think of people like Gary Vee, Tim Ferriss, and Brene Brown. Their audience loves them because of how real they are. So here we have, attention all professionals. I'm gonna swap that generic sentence out with, if you're anything like me, it doesn't take much to drift away from work. And then I could add a personal story about how easily distracted I get. What was I saying? Oh, uh, right. So now to the body of my post. Right off the bat, I could see that some of these points seem general and kind of blah. They're not all relevant, so I'm gonna take some out. I'm also gonna rephrase the ones that don't entirely match my audience and make them fit better. Plus, I'll add a couple of my own to make it genuine. Let's take this tip. It's never worked for me, so I'm gonna remove it. I'd rather replace it with something that'll suit my audience and has personally worked for me. I would add, Know your habits, plan ahead for breaks to talk with coworkers, and book yourself focus time when you know you're most productive. Let's keep it going. We want to make this post more conversational. Here's why. Social media is a social platform where you're engaging with real people. You don't want to sound distant or robotic. You want your audience to actually interact with you and your content. Here's a few ways you can do that. One, keep the language simple. Avoid using those big words people use just to prove they know them. It's superfluous and quite gratuitous, if you ask me. Two, use a casual and friendly tone, as if you were speaking to a friend. Three, engage your audience by encouraging them to share their thoughts, opinions, or experiences related to the topic you're discussing. It makes you come off less robotic. All right, once you've edited and changed up what you feel needed some personalization, make sure to read it through line by line. Fix any spaces, punctuation, and rephrase any words to make sure it all flows. LinkedIn also gives you the option to add in an image, which you should definitely take advantage of. With visuals, you can show off your personality, values, and unique perspective, which adds another layer of authenticity. Whether it's a meme you find funny or a selfie that relates to your story. Okay, stop the clock. Not bad. And now for the big reveal. Will my humanized content pass the AI detection test? Let's find out. All right, let's see. Yay, 100% original content score. And there you have it. With just a few small edits, humanizing AI generated content is easy and quick to do. For more helpful videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.